Hello everyone, um, John Battle here, and I'm talking to you today about our scenario of this week and our discussion board, um, which calls on us to describe a time where we were flying with a GPS uh, and had a component of that GPS system malfunction. Um, if you have not had this situation happen to you, describe a potential scenario. In either case, describe what you did or what you would do. Um, Fortunately, I've, I've never had any GPS malfunction while I've been flying. Um, you know, I, I have had issues on the ground uh, where I've received a no GPS error. Uh, typically, it's when I'm close to the hangar. Um, sometimes it'll stick around until almost to the run-up area. Um, I've cycled the avionics before and it comes back, or it usually, usually it just it corrects itself while I'm in the run-up area, so it's not, not a huge deal. Um, could just be loading. So um, one scenario where I can think of a GPS malfunction um, would be a loss of rain while you're on an approach. Um, so on approach, you know, we would receive a, uh, if we're flying like an RNAV approach, uh, we might receive a rain unavailable message. So obviously we're not, we're gonna have a difficult time or we're not gonna be able to fly um, an RNAV if, you know, if we're not getting rain. Um, so in this case, we'd have to abort the RNAV approach, um, probably do a, a, a go mist on the approach uh, and let tower know um, that we're going mist to do um, GPS issues. Um, you know, this issue is more than likely due to insufficient satellite cover coverage um, while we're flying. Um, Best thing to do if this happens, like I said, is to go mist and uh, realign ourselves, uh, go uh, for a different approach um, if possible. You know, the Garmin, it's not gonna offer us, uh, the. it's not gonna give us the, uh, the, uh, the option to even um, select or to load GPS approaches um, if we're having this issue. So instead, you know, opting for a VOR and ILS approach would probably be, would probably be best. Um, typically these rain outages, they're pretty short lived, um, usually less than about five minutes. So there's a, there's a good chance by the time we, we come back around miss, um, it'll come back, but sometimes it's longer than that. Um, so, uh, for rain in particular, uh, you know, before we fly, anytime we're, you know, going on a, on a if we're doing a flight plan, flying IFR, um, we should do a rain prediction test uh, just to ensure that we have uh, rain coverage um, available during the course of our flight. Um, so that is my discussion board scenario. Um, thanks.